The MR400 can measure two types of invasive blood pressure in the magnet room, arterial blood pressure and central venous pressure. The MR400 can also be used in the MR environment to monitor adult or pediatric patients during cardiac catheterization. It offers two invasive pressure channels, P1 and P2. To monitor invasive blood pressure, or IBP, use the dedicated invasive pressure transducer cable and choose an IBP kit appropriate for the patient type. There are two IBP kits available, one for adult and pediatric patients and one for infant and neonatal patients. Confirm that your catheters are MR safe or MR conditional before using them in an MR environment. To begin, set up the transducer kit according to the instructions for use found in each kit. Step one, attach the transducer cable to the P1 or P2 port and then connect it to the transducer kit. Step two, mount the transducer to an MR IV pole then prime the transducer. Tips. Invasive pressure transducers are sensitive to vibration that can occur during MRI scanning, which can lead to pressure reading inaccuracies. Always mount the transducer away from areas where vibration is likely to occur. Step three, zero the transducer. You can zero the transducer from the invasive pressure menu or from the soft keypad. Tips. In the MR room, ensure that the transducer is level with the heart and that the transducer interface cabling is not looped or touching the patient. Also, the invasive pressure cable and transducer must be kept away from the bore. If not, transducer failure, inaccurate readings, noisy MRI images, or patient burns may result. Step four, connect the kit to the patient. Tips. Never attach the transducer directly to the patient, as excessive heating can occur, resulting in burn injuries to the patient. Step 5. Fast flush the transducer and observe the drip chamber drop rate to verify complete closure. Tips. The transducer must be re-zeroed prior to the MRI examination after the transducer is in its final setup position. Moving the transducer after zeroing may cause a measuring offset to occur, and inaccurate pressure readings may result. Invasive pressure measurements are displayed as waveforms in the vital sign trace area of the screen and as numeric information in the P1 and P2 vital sign boxes. You can assign a label to the pressure channel by pressing the P1 or P2 vital sign box and selecting Set label. The label will appear in the vital sign box and it will also determine the color used for the vital sign box.